promise yes. you yes. Yes. This is a faith thing that you've got to declare over your life. Yes. You can't let the devil make you bored or make you uncomfortable with your purpose. But you've got to rise up in Jesus' name. Yes, you've got to put away the lameness. You've got to put away the leprosies of life and keep right on cross crossing to your purpose yes, in God. Look at somebody say, just cross to your purpose. Just cross, cross to your purpose. And the last thing I want to address, yes, I'm about to be out of here, is one of the worst things you can experience during a car ride trip. Come on. And that's motion sickness. This is the very thing that I hate about riding in cars, is getting motion sickness. Because then at this point, I just want somebody to come rescue me mm -hmm. out of this bumpy car that just seems to just go up, down, up, down, from bump to bump, from curve to curve. Come on. And just let me go somewhere and let me just catch a little breeze. But spiritually and implying this, there are so many of us who Spiritually, we're getting sick in our minds, yeah. which can lead us to something like depression or suicidal thoughts to where we think we're not good enough for anything. To think that we're not good enough for what God has in store for us and that we don't deserve to live on purpose. But may I tell you on tonight that you have got to come against that nasty yes. enemy yeah. who thinks he has the upper hand in every situation in your life and tell him that everything that I have in my body, yes, everything that's in my mind, everything that God said about me in his yes. word, everything in my soul come on. belongs to God. Yeah. I'm not defeated by my trouble water. I'm not defeated by what others say. I'm come not on. defeated by my peers. I'm not defeated by family. I'm not defeated by even church yeah. family. Come on. I am more than a conqueror of yeah. Jesus Christ. And I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor height, nor death can be able to separate me from the love of God. Come on, just lift your hand and shout glory. Glory! It is his love that lifts me up when I'm down. It is his love that picks me up when I am down. It is his love that picks me up even in my darkest hours, even in my darkest trials. It is his love that will sustain me. It is his love that will cover me. It is his love that will fill me. Can I want no more? When we look back at the story, we see that after Jesus told Peter to come to him on the water, the first thing that Peter does is step out of the boat, which meant that he had to leave his disciples behind. Come on, Brothers and sisters, when you are making a decision to follow Jesus, you may have to leave some so-called friends behind. Because not everybody is trying to make the right decision like you're trying to make. So let me encourage you to step out of your boat tonight and follow Jesus, whatever your comfort zone may be. Whatever may be that thing that may be holding you back, let's step out of the boat and follow Jesus. I can even hear the songwriter say that you can have this whole world, but you can give me Jesus. I don't care how enticing the world may seem. I don't care how many wrong routes you may have taken in life. I don't care how many friends may have turned their backs on you. If you just look to Jesus as the author and the finisher of your faith, then you too will last as the word of God tells us that what we do for Christ will last. No matter what it may look like, no matter what it may seem like, no matter how significant it may be, what we do for Christ will last. I can hear the old hymn writer say that I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained with him. Seeking to rise no more, but the master of the sea, he heard my despairing cry, and from the waters he lifted me. Now safe am I. So many of us can relate to this hymn because we have to step out of our comfort zone. We have to walk on the water, and we have to see Jesus. We have to see him for as he is. We have to see him for his purpose. We have to see him for who he's called us to be. Because we become so distracted with sin. We become so distracted with life situations. We become so plagued with our selfish desires. And we even start to look at the winds and the waves that have become so intensified. But just remember that Jesus is only just a foot away. He's not too far from you. But he sees and he knows just how much you can bear. He's only a whisper away. As you come unto 
in him. You will find rest in him. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Even Isaiah tells us this, that he will keep us in perfect peace if our minds are stayed on him. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how hard it is to you. May be ahead, but the lies that the enemy may tell you, if you just keep your eyes on Jesus and if you hold to His hand, hold to God's unchanging hand, and build your hopes on faith eternal, and just remember that God has already given you the victory, that God has already made you a promise, that God has already opened the door for you. It's going to happen. You're destined for greatness. You're destined for greatness. You're destined for healing. You're destined for salvation. You're destined for joy that is unspeakable and full of glory. I don't care what you're going through tonight. I don't care how big your storm may be. Just remember that Jesus is on the other side. And he's waiting for you to catch hold to his hand. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you to pull, you take his hand pull you out of darkness into this walk yes, of life. I can hear the hero to say that I don't know why Jesus loves me. I don't know why he even cares. I don't know why he sacrificed his life. He's so glad that he did. He paid it all. Jesus, he paid it all. Get ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen. 